Stan Gibalisco here. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about so-called attic antennas for short wave listening. A, uh, a viewer actually requested uh, something along these lines and I've been thinking about doing the same sort of thing myself after a fashion. I am a ham radio operator. My call sign W1GV. You will find me mostly on CW, that's Morse code, on the 14, 18, 21, 24, and 28 megahertz bands. You will also find me doing, well, CW, as I said, which stands for continuous waves, even though they're not continuous, and PSK, phase shift keying. Now, right now, I have a conundrum here. I have conundrum. What does that mean? A, a problem? Well, it is a problem. I have a noisy QTH. A lot of human-made electrical noise permeates my location. That's what QTH means in ham radio lore. I have a deck-mounted antenna. Here's the roof of my house, the deck, the railing. I have a vertical antenna that extends 22 feet, fed with a capacitor at the bottom so that it resonates on a frequency of 14 megahertz. Now note that this is a vertical antenna, and vertical antennas are notorious for receiving human-made noise, and there is plenty of that around here. I use this antenna both for transmitting and for receiving. So that constitutes a problem because if I want to receive with a low noise antenna, I've, I'm kind of stuck with transmitting on it too. I'm going to have to figure out a way to either get a separate shortwave receiver or else build some kind of a TR switch. I don't know if you remember those old TR switches, but this would be something like that, except an antenna switch. Uh, maybe instead of transmitting, receiving, you could call it an RT switch, receiving, transmitting switch. Anyway, the reader is asking about a short wave receiving antenna, specifically short wave or shortwave radio refers in particular to receiving on frequencies between 3 megahertz and 30 megahertz. That's the HF or high frequency spectrum. However, you can also consider short wave to extend all the way down to the top of the standard AM broadcast band, in which case it would be more like 1.6 to 30 megahertz. In any case, a simple antenna for shortwave radio, and one that has been used for many, many years, it was the first antenna that I had back in, oh, probably about 1963, 1964, when I was only about 10 years old. Here's your house. You know the drill. The wire comes out your upper story window at least 50 feet long. What is that? About 15 to 20 meters in length. at least to a tree or some other permanent fixture makes a pretty good receiving antenna for short wave listening, SWL. But not everyone can get away with an outdoor antenna for a variety of reasons in some locations. Now, the covenants uh, of the homeowners associations will not allow any kind of an outdoor radio uh, uh, antenna. They call it an aerial, <laughs> an aerial. They will not not allow any such thing. Not even for television in some cases, except possibly a small satellite TV receiving 
dish antenna. But otherwise, no ham radio antennas, no shortwave listening antennas like this. The days of the little kid in his house with the antenna out to a tree. Well, now they all do texting on the internet anyway, and they don't know what they're missing because the world of short waves still exists in much of the world. And on those short wave bands, particularly by band, I mean frequency ranges, above 10 megahertz in particular, you can hear signals from all over the world with a receiving antenna like this. Well, the reader is asking, uh, what can you do to put it in your, uh, can you put it in your attic, for example? And this is where my interest comes in, because I have a converted attic in my humble abode. And that com converted attic would serve as a great location for an antenna. Now here, let's look, just look at the, the view of the attic, more or less. Here's the peak of the roof, and then it kind of comes down. And there's a, a, a beam up here, a, a wooden beam up here, and, and the floor and the bed, the futon on the floor. You know that drill, don't you? Never quite outgrew that era. Little fake wood stove. It's a fake uh, electric, one of those things that looks like a real fire, but it isn't. Well, what I could do is I could string an antenna the full length of the house right up along that ceiling. Just string an antenna like that. And then run a wire down. And the chimney actually comes down through here. I could run it down either the outside of the dwelling or inside, drilling holes in the floor all the way to the basement. And have a ham radio receiver separate from my transmitter, which would then go out to the antenna on the deck, the vertical. Now this receiving antenna being horizontally oriented will probably receive less noise. And that's a, an important thing to note. Less noise on a horizontal antenna usually as a general rule than on a vertical antenna. Also, I could uh, create tuning circuits in this antenna that would sharply tune out some of that noise. There are a whole lot of different things that I can do, but I'd like to try that. Uh, it, the house is a wooden frame house, also known as stick built. Whenever I hear the term stick built, for a house, I think of what would happen should a house like that encounter a Fujita 5, an EF5 tornado. Then you would really find out that it is indeed stick built. <laughs> Let the listener and viewer understand that. But yes, the reader is asking can you bend the wire into an L to make it longer? And the answer is yes, you can. You certainly can. You can basically, with receiving antennas, they're a lot less critical than transmitting antennas are. And you should just try different antenna systems until you find something that works. Now, the caveat to this is that if this were a condominium, a concrete and steel building, high rise, something like that, the steel girders and the framework of the building would make it much more difficult for an indoor antenna to efficiently perform. But in a stick-built house, prior to the tornado, it should work quite well. Uh, and I uh, have been thinking about trying it. I just don't want to go to the expense of getting that separate receiver. I do have a separate transceiver that I can use for that. But that is one solution, but it's certainly not the only one. And in the future, I hope to expound on other shortwave receiving antenna options. Uh, the reader uh, or viewer, by the way, both, I guess, I think he has my book and he's watching my videos, remarks that he thinks antenna theory is kind of like voodoo. Well, my response to that is, 
you noticed. <laughs> if you think the theory is voodoo, the practice is really voodoo. Because sometimes what shouldn't work does, and what should work doesn't. Stan Jabalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Golf Victor. Those are the phonetics. Signing off, saying 73, which means best regards, and so long.